hello everyone welcome back to another video of automation testing insider so this is part 26 of selenium framework development series from scratch and in the previous part we have seen how to trigger the uh, email automatically when we run the jenkins build right now today we'll focus on how to trigger the jenkins build itself automatically so let's have a look at the agenda for today so we are going to talk about how to run the jenkins build or how to trigger the jenkins build without code changes at scheduled time so that will be done using an option called build periodically we have an option in jenkins to trigger the build periodically right without code changes and there is another one with code changes at particular time interval how to run the build using this option paul scm that is nothing but paul source code management scm stands for source code management and third option which we have github hook trigger for git scm polling so this stands for git source code management polling so what does it mean so we can re, uh, we can run the build or we can trigger the build anytime when there is a code change when there is a code change and when we push the code into github repository automatically build will be triggered right when, whenever there is a change in the code so these are the different options which we have guys to trigger the build so basically the first two options are easy ones so i'll talk about it how we can set it up in jenkins but third option i'll show you practically how to achieve this because we need to do little work for the third option so i'll talk about it practically right so let's have a look uh, uh, all these options in jenkins so this is the project in eclipse which we are working on orange hrm project and if i go to jenkins so here i have already logged in in localhost 8080 port and uh, we have created uh, orange hrm build guys this is the build which we have created in jenkins and last time we have seen how to trigger the emails automatically when we trigger the build so if i click on configure So all the settings which we have done in the previous videos uh, like source code management it is picking the repository from our github repository right and here you can see the branch mentioned over here main branch and here we have an option called build triggers correct and these are the different options which we have like five options which we have but uh, the three options which I talked about those are the main ones right so build periodically let's talk about this one build periodically first so if i select this so here you need to just mention the cron pattern cron syntax right and at particular time interval the build will be executed so we have cron pattern in this like uh, we have the first one represents the uh, minute and hour and day right and this one the fourth one will represent the month and the last one is days of the week day particular day of the week so like that we can uh, mention the cron pattern we can do that and let's say suppose i want to run every 2 am in the uh, night right so how to do that you can mention like uh, zero minute and you can mention two over here and just if you tab tab out you can see here would last have run saturday 1st march at 2 am right would next run at 254 correct so basically and here you can see spread load evenly by using h2 it is giving the proper suggestion as well so h stands for hash so if i mention if i put the syntax like this so it will run every 2 am in the night so we can uh, basically we can give like h like this h and 2 so it will run at random time like uh, between 2 to 3 so you can see it is selected 2 hours 10 minutes right 2 hours 10 minutes it will run at night on first uh, second march right so this is how you can uh, uh, mention like uh, it it shows like would have last would last have run at this time and what would be the next run you can see here so suppose i want to run uh, like monday to friday so for the last one last star what we can see we can remove it and we can mention one hyphen five so that means it will run monday to friday at 2 am 
so this is how you can represent the cron uh, pattern you can mention the cron pattern in this period when we want to when you want to run the build periodically and this does not belongs to like uh, whether code changes are there or not right without the code changes it will run the build so this is an option guys and another option which we have Paul SCM so what does it mean when there is code change then here also we'll use the same same cron pattern and when there is a code change only then it will trigger the build so we can represent let's say suppose every 15 minutes you want to run the build so you can mention like 15 and then star uh, means any hour any day and any of the month and one more star so if I tab out so you can see spread load evenly we can mention H as well so if I put H so you can see would last have run Saturday 1st March 11:10, right randomly it will pick the minute like uh, 11 10 then the 15 minute it will count from there so it will be like 11 25 if I mention like star so every 15 minute it will run like 11 15 then 11 30 11 45 like that if I mention H over here then it will run in like random like 11 10 and then 11 25 so this is how you can trigger the build using this policy as well so this is about build periodically and Paul SCM so you guys can there is no settings or nothing like that you need to just uh, put the cron pattern over there and select this option and apply and save it so this task for you guys you can do it now let's talk about this one github hook trigger for git SCM polling so right now I'm selecting this right and click on apply and save it so if you go to again configure you can see the option has been uh, selected right now how to do it so for that guys we need to do little work so let me tell you what we need to do so here we have if you go to github if you're go, if you go to your repository github repository there this is the project right which we have created uh, in which we have in uh, our github repository selenium test framework right and here you can see settings and we have here we have an option called web hooks so here we have to create one web hook right so one URL we need to put it over here and based on that it will trigger the build so how it will be done because it will not pick the local host URL right it will not pick the local host URL so what we need to do we have to find a way to represent this local host or uh, we need to find a way to uh, create a custom URL for our Jenkins build how to do it right so that is the biggest question over here so what we can do so for that we what we can do we can download this ng rock application so what it will do we can create the custom URL for our application for our Jenkins uh, application right so how to do it so I have already documented everything over here so we need to download this ng rock from this uh, URL so you can see uh, for Windows Windows we can do directly download from here or if if you if you are using Mac OS or Linux so you can download from the respective options from here and you will get the build like this guys you can get the uh, get the downloaded folder like this you need to just extract this and after that what you need to do you need to keep in C drive okay and C drive just rename this ng rock version 3 all those you just remove it and give like ng rock only you can keep ng rock and keep it inside C drive okay that's how you need to do and another thing what you need to do is you need to sign up ng rock with Google account right so you can see I have already signed up over here here I have already signed up correct with ng so simply you can just sign up with a Google account that is very easy step so after that what you can do you navigate to authentication tab so here we have one uh, option called your author uh, auth token right so here you will get the token uh, so a screenshot 
uh, I have provided over here and after that now go to ngrock path and open CMD so simply go to ngrock path so here you need to just write one command guys to run the below command so we have to configure the URL right the authentication uh, authentication token we need to configure so how to run the command ngrock config add hyphen authentication token uh, auth token and there your token from here from this from ngrock site you can see from your auth token option correct so this I have already run in uh, in my case now we have to do one more command we need to run so simply what you can do so you can run like this ng rock http and 8080 so it will does not support a dynamic color why it is showing like this Just a minute, guys. NG rock and HTTP eight zero eight zero. Now you can see it is session uh, status online, and you can see account on my name, and this is the URL it has created. So this is the URL for this is the URL for Jenkins. So simply copy this, and if I fire that URL, you can see Jenkins will be loaded. Visit visit site you can see, and you can see it is showing the Jenkins site, right? So we got our URL. Now how to set up the web hook? So next step, what you need to do? Fire the URL. You can see the Jenkins site and add webhook in github repository so simply what we can do so simply we have to go to our github repository from here right go to your github repository and settings option is there and there we have webhooks and here we have add webhook and here we have to provide the two way authentication right authentication code Four three seven nine eight three. So you can see here we need to provide the payload URL. So simply put the Jenkins URL and later on what we need to do. This is the syntax guys Jenkins URL and this we have to provide GitHub webhook. So slash like this. So you need to just provide the URL like this. And here you just select application JSON and all these are fine and here you need to select just the push event just select just the push event and simply add webhook so you can see webhook had has been already created over here has been added now what we need to do simply we have to make some changes in the code right before that let me show you our Jenkins build so you can see for uh, build 4 is there right now when we push the changes then it will show fifth build will be run automatically so let me simply make some changes uh, we'll make the changes in the test classes let's say not here dummy class test check-in control save you can see uh, we need to you can see this greater than option right so that means we made the changes in the code so simply go to the uh, the project where we have created our project where our project is located show more options git bash here and here what we'll do simply write git status so you can see 
it is modified right one file is modified now what you will do git add dot it will uh, add the file if you run again git status now it is in green color now we need to uh, commit the changes right git commit minus m uh, test check in correct press enter one file changed you can see here one insertion and after that git push push the changes into github repository git push origin and where is the branch uh, what is the branch main branch right so press enter you'll see it has been already pushed to the main branch if you go to my github and simply check that you can see uh, test check-in you can see right it has been already done now check the build whether it is running or not here you can see guys fifth build is running automatically right if i open here and console so this is how you can trigger the build whenever there is a code check-in and uh, when you push the changes into github repository let's see whether it is running successfully or not you can see build is success and it is sending the email it is sending the email build is success total server runs zero failures zero errors zero skipped and if i check the email you can see build has been uh, build is successful we got the email as well for build 5 right and here you can see the beautiful format of the email correct and uh, you can see the reports jenkins report from here and you can see the build log as well which we have already spoken about in the previous video and here you can see the jenkins report so this is how you can trigger the build automatically in Gen jenkins and other two options please uh, check from your end those are the very easy ones and i'll i have already uploaded this document in our uh, git uh, in our uh, ati digital hub library so let me show you that one as well here we have already uploaded that document right automate jenkins build job so i'll provide the link in the description box of this video as well so this is all for today guys and in the next video i'll show you how to run the jenkins build through jenkins pipeline that is an important session as well so thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.